welcome back everyone today i have another video this time is for a uh, crocodile i did want to uh revisit the deck as i do think it's a really powerful uh strategy into this set um the main strategies that you want to play this against is going to be um black decks and uh like a lot of like sticky threats that you can remove easily uh with your like they're, they're playing a lot of decks that are playing seven or less are really good uh, even even white beer is not like the worst matchup. It's okay. Uh, Zoro, it's okay if they're playing Marco. You just bottom deck their Marco, and, and the, you have a lot of plays that are really good, right? Um, Zoro is not a, like the worst matchup. It's okay. It's a good match. It's it's a decent. It's a fifty fifty. It's Zoro, so they can always get there if they have like an insane curve or whatever. And um, against uh, white beer, you can you can get there too if you have like it's a fifty fifty in every matchup. I think. Except for the yellow matchup, the Karakuri matchup is really difficult uh, because after they start playing big mom after big mom after big mom, uh, it is very difficult. The only way that you can actually get through that is if you have Sentomaru. Uh, Sentomaru and Mihawk are like the combo to win uh, that matchup. But um, but uh, like if you don't have it, then it's gonna be really difficult. So yeah, it is what it is. Those there are some matchups that are gonna be difficult, uh, and that's one of those. Uh, that you have to really know what you do in that matchup to actually win. Uh, and even then might not be enough because um, sometimes they just have enough triggers out of life to win. Uh, however, these are the changes that I make for the deck. Uh, I have three swords because I think having too many can sometimes uh, clock your hand. Three love loves. As it's only really good in the, at the late, late game. Uh, one gun gun rain because you're tapping out a lot of the time and just having one, one extra counter. That you can always have active when you play the missile Sunday is good. Uh, maybe move it at two because it was it decent actually. And you can get rid of the cards that you cannot counter out of your hand. Uh, two loss, I think two with this blocker is just just good enough. Uh, I added Gecko Moria because Gecko Moria just gives you that grinding potential at the end of the game as you're able to buy Boa Hancocks or Loss or more blockers, Flamingos, uh, two Ks out of the graveyard just to give you that extra late game push that you're gonna need to win the game. Um, Centomaru, of course, is one of the best cards in the deck, uh, and what you base your deck around. Uh, Sogekin and Mihawk are the win conditions, as, as, as so say. Sogekin, not so much. That's just like a tempo play, where you can play your Kaya, so you can see your plays, and then you can play Sogekin, so you can bounce it back to the hand, and then you can, uh, you can just keep getting that incremental value. Um, Cent uh, Mihawk is definitely your win condition, and that, this is something that you have to see every game if possible if you don't see at least one mihawk you're gonna have a difficult matchup as he is like you have to sit behind this car to actually win the game uh, and just start using the your leader ability after that uh, the deck is very good still if you master the deck you're gonna have good games and uh, you're gonna have uh, definitely like a, a good chance of winning any potential uh, tournament that you want it's just uh, it's a matter of how um, how many Karakuris you're going to see and even those are going to be very difficult. Those are going to be the matchups that you're definitely not going not gonna to want to see. But it is what it is, right? Um, not every deck can be as powerful as a white beard to just have a good matchup all around. Of course, uh, that's just not possible. Uh, but regardless, I think the deck is uh, really good and we have some really good uh, games to showcase today. Uh, with okay, and we're playing against Lushi and... Uh, Mihawk is just enough for me to keep it. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this hand. And we're going second too, which is actually very nice. They do want to take first from us, but my hand was actually okay going second. Uh, and I don't think I'm gonna play Sogekin, and I have to play around the 8 drop, so... It's gonna be difficult as well, but we're gonna try. Deploy my boa so I can combo freely and I can get the cards back to my hand. So it's gonna be a, a long game here. And always trying to play around the A drop. That's the, that's gonna be the most difficult part. Just always trying to play around the A drop. Uh, 
and um, but they can also have removal for my boa, which is gonna be really bad for me. But I mean, it is what it is. Okay, he plays the Kusan. They don't want to play early on because they don't want to get it sort. Oh wow, he's attacking with this one, eh? Oh, just combo to that one, I guess. What is this one? No, no, I'm not gonna use the trigger here. Okay, I'll draw here. Um, I guess I'll play the Pacifista. As it is the easier card to defend with. Uh, to attack with this one. And I'll attack with this one, I guess. When all, let's try to be aggressive. As if we're going to use our hand to defend, might as well defend our boa, right? And be aggressive at the same time. Not giving too much time to recover. It's going to be probably good. And since our boa always going to draw us car, we can just discard our hand, really. Uh, let's discard this one because I can I have the pick between a 2k or uh, getting something else back. Yeah. So it's going to be fine. Uh, I'm going to ask for hard removal here, though. I'm just going to combo a 5k here. But not 2k, actually. And uh, he has some removal for my pacifist, I assume. Um, my boy is more important, though, but yeah. So he does have the removal for the uh, pacifist here. He does want me to have this one because he can just make me draw cards and maybe activate the leader's ability. Oh, never mind. Ooh, seven. Uh, sure, I will just combo this too. I can always draw with her. Force the action here. I'm going to try to destroy both of these cards here. And if he wants to save them, then he's going to have to give me a lot of cards. Which I am okay with. And I actually just want to destroy the Kusan, but it should be fine either way. He used his leader ability, so he doesn't have too many, too many cards here. This is actually very taxing for him. Okay. Well, I don't want him to KO my uh, Boa Hancock for free, so... Might as well use the removal here. Uh, he's going to kill the Boa Hancock either way, but at least not for free. What does he have? For nine? You know what? You can have it. Don't worry. I'm not going to defend her because... I mean, it's no reason to. I don't want to lose my whole hand trying to defend a Boa Hancock. Uh, he's definitely going to play the A drop here. Uh, but we have, I guess, successfully played around the A drop. And I don't have to take this one also. There's no reason to. Oh, that's a good draw here too. Because now, because we didn't take that one, everything that he plays is going to the bottom of the deck. Which is very nice. Then this one, bottom of the deck. And then just attack the leader for six. And if he plays something else, bottom of the deck, attack for whatever number. And now we can attack the Iso. Uh, the Isho here, I'm sorry. And... Um, it is the best card against uh, here because 
I cannot really remove it. I can only remove it by battle, but even then it's going to be difficult. So I'm definitely going to have to take this one here. And he might have enough to like reduce the cost of my cars and maybe remove my Mihawk. Not that diff not that easy, but it could happen. Oh, he does have enough. Okay. But I have another Mihawk, so it shall be fine. Attack for 8-8, eight, eight, I assume. That's why it was so important to uh, seven. I guess I'll take it to not take that damage there. Ooh, almost hit uh, consider. <laughs> not concede, but like I'm gonna attack for six because I want to pressure the two Ks, and then he has to have another miracle here to kill my Mihawk. So it's not gonna be easy. And if he does have enough to kill my Mihawk, I have enough blockers to where I think it's not gonna be a problem. Even if he does, which I don't think he does, because that's difficult to do. Though he could... No, 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 it's fine. That's a lot of cars that he has to have there. That's okay, because I can bounce it back to the hand, so... It's not even an issue. It just cycles his hand, but whatever. I do want to combo out of this one. And I think I'm not going to keep the boa. I just need the 3k blockers. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, I just want to give myself the best options to uh, not die next turn. For sure. Just in case I don't, I'm not able to kill him. Which I am not. I'm not going to risk it. That's fine. I don't have to do any of this. I just have to play this. Play my two blockers. And the next turn, I can definitely go for game. Okay, fair enough. Uh, placing at the bottom because none of these cars are good. And then play this one. And then attack for seven. Force him to take the last life, hopefully. It could have been an uh, impact wave, so I should have waited on the blockers, to be honest. Uh, but even if he does have impact wave here, it should be fine. So I can still get the uh, gun gun rain, rain, and it's not gonna it's not gonna be a problem. One, two, three, four. Get this back to the hand, and yep, yeah, which should be fine. Two blockers are good enough here, even even if Rob Lucci has like that blocker protection. Uh, it's not that amazing here. <laughs> a blocker just draws a card. Now I have the option to get a love love beam or a gun gun brain. Uh, but either option is fine here. Just so I can protect my Mihawk or whatever I have. Okay, so he destroys the blocker. He has a, a Kusan here. So he's going to restand with the leader? No. He's not. So he just loses. If he doesn't restand, then he just loses. So I mean, just block here. Get the Love Love Beam just in case. I don't want to go for game, but I do. And then one card does not stop seven here.
and then I just arrest on my leader, on my uh, Mihawk. Yeah, that was uh, a good match here. Um, Black doesn't seem to be the is one of the best matches for the deck for sure. We're gonna go first here, and we have the best card that we can have in this matchup, which is Mihawk. And we're gonna go first here because we have the best card that we can have in this matchup, which is Mihawk, and um, definitely that what I want to work for. Um, Got to be careful against the A-drop. I don't want to get A-drop. Um, the Sakatsuki or whatever his name is. So I'm going to place on top the um, the 2Ks. And I'm going to combo this one here. So I can get it back with my um, Gekko Moria and here I'll attack for six he's gonna need another one of these for, for it to be like threatening for me um, but in the meantime I'm gonna try to develop next turn I'm gonna develop the, the Sogekin and I'm gonna try to de keep defending here um, because it is just important not to get Hit by the A drop. He can just destroy my uh, Gekko Moria, by the way. And then attack for seven, I guess. Oh, he's playing a second one now. Okay. Uh, I'll take it. Ooh, the second. That's amazing. Uh, I'll play this one. Definitely has to out uh, combo out of that one. But I'll play this one to bounce it back to the hand. So he has to replay it. I don't think I need the blocker right now. And uh, I might have to get rid of one of the two Ks. Uh, let him go. Next turn, he might use the Kusan to remove something else. Uh, but I might just do Crocodile Bounce. Or I might just let one of them die, and then we'll see from there. Uh, definitely combo in out of that one, because I don't want to get A dropped. <laughs> that is the goal number one of my deck, not to get A dropped. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, I'll attack for five. Okay, I'll attack for five. Get rid of that one. Because he can remove my nine drop and that's that's a no-no in my book. Ah uh, yeah, that one dies, that's fine. That one can take a life, that's fine. That Sintomaru is actually gonna be really good. Double will be good. Mm. I'm gonna attack for ten. Uh, he has to use a, a beam here. I mean that one. Uh, let's get rid of the. Um, I mean he cannot get rid of both. I think probably can just get rid of one, but not both. So let's get rid of the Sakatsuki. And then bounce back one of them to the hand. <clears throat> if he wants to attack and then do removal, that's fine. Because uh, now we're getting into the late game. And I I'm, I'm have the uh, Sentomaru late game now. And I should be overpowering my opponent here. Okay. He plays another Kusan. That was a good draw here. Attack for nine. Attack for five. Remove this guy. 
and play a blocker. Let's go. As long as he cannot remove my Mihawk, it's going to be fine. And here, I guess I get the uh, the removal back. It should be fine. Because I have double removal here. And now, now there's no blocker that I cannot remove. Which is really good for me. Oh, I wonder if he can get to the Mihawk. I don't think so, but maybe. Like, it's really difficult, but... Who knows what cheeky ways they can maybe have of doing so. Um, definitely going to try to remove the Sakatsuki. Oh, okay. He doesn't even get another Sakatsuki, which is fine. I don't know why he didn't attack. Weird, but... Uh... Sorry, I don't know why he was asking me, but <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, attack this one. See if he wants to do I'll combo that one. He does. Is that fine? He's just going to attack with everything next turn. I think I just do uh, Sentomaru. That's fine. And then bounce back the Khalifa. Uh, so he's not another attacker. Uh, he has to go with these ones. Though, being said, to be to be fair, they're going to be able to attack for 5-5-5. Five, five, five. But that shall be fine. Then attack with this one. Hmm. I'll take it because I don't know where he's trying to go with this. We solve that one. Just keeping up two. And then I'll play a pacifista. So I still think I have one more turn of me doing all of this. I need three energy for sure. See if he gets out of that one. Interesting. I'm definitely gonna bounce back the uh, the Kusan. And then try to play the uh, this one so I can get the Gun Gun Rain. And I can have a, a little bit of defense here. Let's see how he deals with this. He's going to need to remove my Omnisol Sunday. Not that easy. Or have to try to go for my board, which is not that easy either. Uh, I think we have finally gotten to the... Uh, we have outgrind him out of the game. Uh, this is okay. I don't need to attack with that one next turn. I do need to get the, the swords in that case. Unless he doesn't attack me here. But double blocker doesn't save him now anymore. Uh, block, and I'm going to get the swords. Because if he's going to play blockers, I can just get rid of the blockers now. Both blockers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, just bottom deck it. Makes me use me, my energy, but that's fine. Yeah, it was close. Um, he could have won. He was playing very well. Um, 
I think... Yeah, he just had all the Kusans. The Kusans were really important to win that matchup. Okay, and this is definitely our hardest matchup. Um, as they do have a lot. Um, we don't have the biggest hand here, the best hand. We're going to try to be aggressive and trying to find a Centomaro with this Flamingo. So we can start getting uh, aggressive here. If not, we're going to play a passive fist, I guess, and, and we'll take it from there, right? That's not ideal, but at least we have a Mihawk, which is also an important part for, for a puzzle. So I'm going to play the, um, the Boa Hancock now here. So I'm going to leave it on top here. Uh, I need to draw So this one. Mm. This one, this one, and this one. And then let him go. I hit a brulette, but that's fine. That card is not that important. What is important? I do have to combo out of uh, the small attacks. Because uh, later on, the, the big cards are going to be too much. So if he attacks for like 5, I have to combo out of that. He could just attack with the Sanji, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, have to combat that because we already have our turns planned out for the future. Ooh, he's playing this one. Eh? Why didn't he play that one first? Because he gains rush. If I would have taken the other one, he doesn't gain rush. Kind of weird that he did that, but now I can attack it for six and pressure his hand a little bit, I guess. The next turn, we're going to bounce it back to the hand. Uh, we do have to combo a little bit here. We have a love love bean at the end of all of this. Uh, it's gonna be really good for us. But this matchup here, he's gonna play the A drop. So we're not uh, out of the woods here yet. The A drop is gonna put a car in my life. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Can also just combo the Mihawk, play a Moria next turn instead of bouncing back and just try to get some value that way. Uh, which seems like something that I should do actually. Because he's getting to be aggressive right now. Um, it's not good. Back-to-back uh, -back Mihawks. Let's see if that's enough to win. I don't know. Maybe. I don't want to go to 0 too early though. So I do have to be uh, pressuring. Or at least force him to uh, use his energy or attack me. So I can... Um, we'll go from there. Because I do need to attack his battle cards. As if he goes too wide, I will not be able to answer back. So it is important. I can always play the Sogekin next turn, but to bounce back like this one to the hand, and then this one won't come down. Probably never. Because it will be just a dead card, but you can pitch it to many effects on life and, and such, so. If he's too scared to attack with this one, then I will just play the Soga King. Uh, so it will be a good uh, card here.
we'll probably have to take this one. That's a boa. That's a really good draw here because it's a blocker, and they don't want to see blockers. That is for sure. And I might just take the last one because, I mean, the last two lives I'm probably not gonna see because he's gonna do back to back, uh, big mom, and that's where the problem is gonna lie. But we'll see. And is playing a little bit slow. Uh, but no, okay, so he attacks with a big number here. Which I'm okay with. I'll just take this one. No problem. Uh two, three me hacks I don't think I'm gonna need. So I'm definitely just gonna attack here. See if he wants to out combo that one. No, I'm just gonna attack with Boa. Thank you for the block. And then this one, return into the hand. One Mihawk. I don't know if I need the second one. Um, maybe I do. Cause he, go, I go attack him out of life. He plays something from life, and then I go Mihawk, Mihawk, Mihawk. Right. It's probably important to keep at two Mihawks. I can always cycle them out. Mm, no, nah, probably just one is enough. Now, probably Boa goes to life. So I don't have a Boa in my, in my, like, my cards here. Uh, I assume the A drop is going to come down. Uh, a drop is going to be really good. But I'm going to attack my opponent's leader so I can get some triggers out of his life. And I can just bounce him back to the deck. Hopefully he plays something that I can Mihawk too. That will be nice. Not the A drop, but rather the, uh, the big mom. Oh, he might actually. Uh, no blockers, but I combo out of that one for sure. Because I can always draw with uh, Boa Hancock. Uh, I'm going to trash one of my life. Uh, because I'm going to go to zero either way next time when he plays Big Mom. So there's no reason to... To be that zealous about the, um, the life here. I'm going to attack for 5, 5, 6. I think he's going to combo out of those. Um, hopefully he doesn't have Thunderbolts all life. Because that card would be really problematic for me. I'm attacking for 5s and 6. Because I do want to put the pressure on my opponent here. If he hits something out of life, it would not be ideal. But it's fine. And they're hoping for something out of life, I think, here. Might take the blocker out if it does a Thunderbolt, if they're thinking about that trigger. Nothing? Okay. Well, I'll attack for six then. And let him go. Now, here comes Big Mom. Uh, but I have a blocker plus Pacifista plus... Um, not even, I don't need the Pacifista here. I just need the blocker and attack with the cards that I have on board so I can draw cards. So it's gonna be fine. And then, so that way I cannot allow him to play two of the, um, of the big moms. That would be terrible for me. Although I don't think he wants to because I mean, he's not going to get life out of my 
Oh, that's a nice draw, actually. That's a nice life to, to get a life to get crit. Um, I'll attack for six. Let's see if he hits my. Um, my guy with a thunderbolt oh he has a trigger should be fine because i can bounce it back to the hand with crocodile if it has a creature trigger, I can just bounce it back. Okay, so he has that one. Uh, which is okay. Because he needs another one of those. I couldn't play both, right? No. He needs another Thunderbolt here, but who knows if he, he might actually have it. He has the blocker there. Takes it. Well, I guess he can attack for 15. Because I don't have life, so... 15, 16, or 17, actually. No, no, 16, 16. Okay. Well, this is what I got. Hopefully, it will be enough. He had the other one. Okay. Yeah, that should... That would be enough to lose the game here. It is a really tough matchup because you cannot really play around the big mom. And the Thunderbolt out of lives and infinite Thunderbolts. All right. And for our final thoughts on the deck, um, it's a really nice uh, choice for anything. Um, I wouldn't know if this will be my first choice to bring to a big event. Um, I have to be really, like, I have to play with the deck consistently, like, day in, day out, so I can get the reps, and I and I know the, the, the place on the, uh, like, on most crucial turns and the most difficult matchups. You have to know, like, exactly when to go for game and when not to. Uh, so uh, you do have to practice a lot with the deck to be able to get out of those spots. Uh, but the deck is very powerful on, on its own, and um, I would recommend that. It's just a really good deck all around. It's always good to have um, that extra removal that Thousand Source uh, gives you. Uh, it's just a card that deals with red very well, because they play a Marco, and you have an immediate answer to Marco, and that just feels really good when you're playing against it. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one.